まったくこんな夜道の陰に乙女を連れ込んで一体どうするつもりだったのやらキスをキスをするつもりでしたなるほどそれは見上げた男だというわけでいやいや待て待てどうしてだだってさっきの肉まん結構ニンニクが効いてたからえだから今日は演技ということで<笑> The first show we are starting with is Tony Kawa Over the Moon for You Tony Kawa is generally well loved and framed as a wholesome, cute, fluffy rom com as we see the daily lives of a newly wed yet innocent couple. On a snowy night, Nasa Yuzaki, a high school student to be, spots a beautiful girl across the road. Deeply attracted by the girl, Nasa steps onto the road but is struck by a truck as he ends up heavily injured. In the face of death, Nasa reaches out to the girl and confesses his love. Barely alive thanks to the girl's intervention, Nasa musters the courage to confess his love to her, fearing she might otherwise vanish from his life. She accepts his proposal on one condition marriage, which of course Nasa accepts before falling unconscious. Upon waking, Nasa finds that the girl is nowhere to be found and becomes miserable as he sets aside his previous goals and focuses on finding the girl that saved his life. The second show on the list is Golden Time. Due to an unfortunate accident, Tada Banri is struck with amnesia, with the memories of his hometown and past being erased. However, after befriending Mitsu Yanigisawa, he decides to move on and begin a new life at a law school in Tokyo. But just as he is beginning to adjust to his college life, the beautiful Kaoku Kaga dramatically enters into Banri's life, and their fateful meeting marks the beginning of an unforgettable time at this college. After having a glimpse of college life, Banri learns that he is in a new place and a new world. A world where he could start his life anew. Kaku Kaga is shown to be a loud and desperate girl who is crushing on the Tada Banri's best friend, but this best friend of his tries his hardest to avoid her, and slowly she gives up as she grows closer to Banri, and they form a relationship which becomes the beginning of a series of unforgettable events for Tada Banri's life. お前嫌なやつだな The third anime on this list is My Little Monster. The story follows the relationship between Haru Yoshida, a cheerful yet evidently a delinquent boy, and Shizuku Muzitani. A socially awkward girl who devotes herself to obtaining academic success. But when she accidentally delivers lesson notes to Yoshida Haru, he becomes convinced they are friends. Haru turns out to have a very innocent personality, but who would have thought that Haru would actually confess to Shizuku? A cold hearted girl and a super troublemaker romance with a fresh new perspective. Haru is also not much different from her, though. He too understands little about human nature and does not have any friends. Shizuku has a hard time understanding her relationship with Haru, but slowly, their friendship begins to progress, and she discovers that there is more to Haru than violence. She begins to develop feelings for him, but is unsure what kind of emotions she is experiencing. Together, Shizuku and Haru explore the true nature of their relationship and emotions. 実は家ではどうでもいい髪型してることとかその筋肉のつき方がよかったりうるさいわよそういうのを他の人に見られたら嫌だなって思うよそれは私も嫌よなんかねこの時間は俺だけのものだって思うしバカ<笑>言ってんじゃないわよ僕のもちょうだい
The fourth anime on this list is Hori Mia. Koyoko Hori is a bright and popular high school student, and in contrast to her classmate, Izumi Miyamura, a glummy and seemingly nerdy glasses wearing otaku, at home, Hori is a homebody who dresses down and looks after her younger brother, Sauta, and does various chores in her mother's stead as both her parents are busy due to work. She takes every attempt to hide this from her classmates, leaving no chance to socialize away from school. Whilst Miyamura is known to be a lonely otaku from his fellow classmates' perspective, he is in fact, in reality, a gentle person inept at studying. To our surprise, he has nine piercings hidden behind his long hair and a tattoo along his back and left shoulder. By sheer chance, Hori and Miyamura cross paths outside of school, neither looking as the other expects. These seemingly polar opposites become friends, sharing with each other a side they have never shown to anyone else. <laughs> The fifth anime on our list is Orange, a psychological romance anime with time travel being somewhat a reality. Orange is a romance high school drama with a speculative twist. One day, a 16-year-old Naho Takimiya receives a letter written to herself from 10 years in the future. As Naho reads on, the letter dictates the exact events of the day, including the transfer of a new student into her class named Kaikuru Naruse. The Naho from 10 years in the future repeatedly states that she has many regrets, and she wants to fix these by making sure that Naho from the past can make the right decisions, especially regarding the new transfer student, Kaikuru. What's more shocking is that she discovers that 10 years later, Kaikuru will no longer be with them. Future Naho asks her to watch over him closely. <laughs> The sixth anime on this list is a classic named Kaicho wa Maidsama. Once in all boys high school, Seika High, infamous for its rowdy students, has recently become a co-ed school. However, with the female population still remaining a minority even after the change over the recent years, Misaki Ayuzawa works hard to make the school a better place for girls. Misaki Ayuzawa is the first female student council president at a once all boys school turned co-ed. She rules the school with strict discipline. She is nicknamed Demon President by the boys for her strict disciplinary style. Misaki Ayuzawa is not afraid to use her mastery of Aikido techniques to cast judgment onto the hordes of misbehaving boys and defend the girls of Seika High School. But she has a secret. She works at a maid cafe due to her family's circumstances. One day, the popular A student and notorious heartbreaker Takumi Usi finds out her secret and makes a deal with her to keep it hush from the school in exchange for spending some time with him. The seventh anime on this list is Kaguya-sama Love is War. Considered to be a genius due to having the highest grades in the country, Miyuki Shirogane leads the prestigious Shukchin Academy Student Council as the president. Working alongside the beautiful and wealthy vice president, Kaguya Shinomiya, the two are often regarded as the perfect couple by students, despite them not being in any sort of romantic relationship, nor any experience in that matter. However, the truth is that after spending so much time together, the two have developed feelings for one another. Unfortunately, neither is willing to confess, because doing so would be a sign of weakness. In their mind, 
whoever confesses is the loser. With their pride as elite students on the line, Miyuki and Kaguya embark on a journey to do whatever is necessary to get a confession out of the other. Through their daily antics, the battle of love begins with results in an increasingly ridiculous number of mind games in which they end up outsmarting themselves. The ninth anime on this list is Snow White with the Red Hair. Shirayuki is a young girl born with unique apple red hair. She meets a famous yet foolish prince Raji who falls in love with her at first sight and orders her to become his concubine. With nowhere else to go, Shirayuki cuts her hair in frustration and escapes to a neighboring country. While journeying through the forests, she meets a young boy named Zen who helps her after she boldly cures his wounds, but he then gets poisoned by an apple which was gifted by Shirayuki. Meanwhile, Prince Raji sends out henchmen to search for her. What will happen to Shirayuki? What is Zen's true character? This anime is a refreshing fantasy story between an optimistic heroine and a prince who constantly stays on her watch. The tenth and final anime on this list is The Quintessential Quintuplets, a high school romantic comedy with five times the cute girls. Furatu Usuji is an ace high school student but leads an otherwise tough life. His standoffish personality and reclusive nature have left him friendless and his father is debt ridden, forcing his family to scrape by. This high school boy must work part time to help five sisters study so they can graduate. But the only thing these quintuplets have in common isn't only that they fail in every exam they partake in, but they also despise studying. Five girls who want to do anything but study and their tutor, a high school student who's got book smarts and not much else. Furatu Usuji took the tutoring job because he was desperate for cash, but unfortunately the sisters find five as many excuses to slack off. At this rate, the sisters won't graduate, so if he wants to get paid, Furatu must think of a plan to suit each of them individually, which feels hopeless when five out of five of them don't like him very much at the very beginning. With that being said, that concludes our list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, AnimeWorks, as well as turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos.